Hello everyone, it's Brittany from The Pretty Plus. Today, I am very late <laughs> with sharing my um, September 2020 budget review. So, I'm just going to share it with you. I have no excuses, except for that I just haven't been feeling well. I mean, just kind of bleh, that, that type of thing. So, um, September was... A, I don't even remember if it was good or not. It was not good. Not great. We did um, go over on things. We went to Gatlinburg. That's what we did in September. We had a family vacation at the cabin. And that cost money, obviously. So we didn't put as much back into savings as we typically do. But... I'll just go through and tell you everything and then you'll know. So, um, mortgage, car payment, phone, internet, all the same. No changes there. Uh, you can read what they say. If you can't read what they say, I'll say it for you. <laughs> 680 on mortgage, 300 for our car, 166 for our phones, 65 for internet, and then, um, gas and electric. Remember last month so August we had like a really high bill um, so I budgeted higher this time in hopes that it would come down and it did so we were under by $101 but don't you worry we found a way to spend that $101 um, budgeted $500 for October's daycare bill then I accidentally paid $625 so you know whatever it works we at least we paid more instead of less. Um, $12 for Hulu. Um, budgeted $650, sorry, $350 for groceries, and we knew that would include groceries for vacation, which is a little different. Um, and uh, we ended up spending $361, so $11 over there. Joey and North are two cute little cats. Um, got $15, but we went over on them this month as well and spent $20. So five dollars over. Um, let's see, our medical bills come from an HSA, so we don't have to put it in here at all. And then no debt payments, which is what we like to hear. Budgeted three hundred dollars for a restaurant, knowing that we would be out of town for a week and doing a lot of restaurant eating. I upped it but we still went over by $43. Um, budgeted $300 in gas for the car for fuel, and we only spent $249, so that was nice, $51 under. $130 for allowance for Brett and myself, and then the rest of these here are um, sinking funds. We have $35 in our family needs, $115 for insurance, $75 for car, 60 for house, 55 for gifts, 25 for holiday, $5 for the pets, $50 for travel, $100 for Mason, us, gifts, and then $100 for a separate savings that we needed. And then I budgeted $150 for Clara. It was her birthday month. And we spent $234 on Clara. What the heck did we spend it on? I don't even remember. Clara jeep oh we got our jeep she like at one of the souvenir shops she like was drawn to them and so we just got her one spent 69 dollars at nike eight dollars at goodwill thirty dollars for birthday supplies and then another 79 dollars for birthday supplies and 40 dollars on diapers so 234 dollars this month she was a little spoiled where did we eat we all the ones with the V next to them were from vacation. And um, all the rest of them were basically Taco Bell. Let's be honest. That's like my kryptonite. So anyway, our income was $4,269 this month. Our um, total that we spent was $3,929. So we were still $9 under budget. And... Um, <laughs> We had $340 left over to do with as we pleased. And what did we want to do with that stuff? I will tell you. We 
had $30 in vacation money, just like cash that we had, um, $86 to go to the aquarium, which was, I don't know if I want it wasn't worth $86. It was maybe worth, if we would have paid like $20 per person, I feel like that would have been worth it. Claire was free, so that was $40. Three dollars for me, forty-three dollars for Brett, and Clara did really enjoy seeing the sharks, especially. But I would have felt more comfortable if it was half that price. But that's what you get for going to an aquarium that's like in a touristy area. It was not crowded, which was really nice. Um, it was. It is what it is. It's the only like touristy thing we did the whole time we were in Gatlinburg. We went to the mountains and we went to a casino separately not with the baby obviously me and my husband and my brother um but the aquarium is the only big money thing we ended up spending money on so it is what it is we bought wrapping paper for Claire's birthday we bought cups from Walmart what's that even mean cups I bought a cup for Brett the bubble one that I have that's like black that I think I mentioned last month I got him one and I got, must have got another cup because they was, those are only 16 bucks. I have no clue. And we put $200 into our savings account. So that was nice. At least we didn't like go negative and have to dip into our savings account. That's always nice. Um, so for our sinking funds, we spent $10 on a birthday gift for one of our nieces. $15 on a shitty car wash. We have a new car wash in town and Brett's car really needed washed. So we decided to do that and it was horrible. We will not go there again. 15 bucks and it was not clean. It was disgusting. Um, spent $27 on cousin gifts, like my cousin's kids. We do like a big Christmas and we bought those kids all these awesome gifts that we usually only spend around five bucks a piece on them. There are like seven of them, I think, something like that. And we ended up finding these really cool Disney sets and was able to get all of them one for $27. So that was really nice, a good score. Um, Lane Bryant had a panty and bra sale and I needed that. Um, Walgreens, we needed medicine type of stuff when we were in Gatlinburg, so we went to Walgreens. We didn't have our HSA card, obviously. We never freaking have our HSA card. We need to carry it around. Um, I bought Clara and Elsa nightgown for her birthday. That came out of the Mason Fund. Um, we paid for our lawn to have some maintenance. That was $30. And then um, Brett Gift. His birthday is also in September. It's 10 days after Clara's, so hers is the 20th, his is the 30th. And um, I still had another gift to get him, so I did. That was 58 bucks. So $258 is what we used out of our sinking fund. And then, what else do we have here? Um, oh, we rounded up, we round up all of our purchases and give the change to Clara's account, her uh, savings account. And this month she made bank. It's usually around like $12 to $15. This time it was $27.81. And it's because we went to a bunch of different restaurants and stuff when we were on vacation. She got a little extra. Go her. But yeah, that is, that is all the stuff that we did with our cash. Nothing super crazy except for what spending extra on Clara which always happens let's be honest and um that being said I'm gonna end this video I have one coming out tomorrow that is our October budget I will warn you it is very different um our budgets are going to look kind of different for the next few months and there's a surprise twist that I'll be telling you about and you won't want to miss that video, so be sure to tune in, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so it comes up tomorrow morning and you can see it then. Um, I hope that your September budgets ended well. 
and I hope that you're having an awesome October so far, halfway through the month. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.